Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space with me, Get Daved. In the last video we kind of watched the status quo for a while. And I'm trying a couple things that uh, didn't work before, so that'll be interesting. Alright, let's go for it. Untoggle that. Okay, now can you go? We can't go into their territory now. Probably because of our current diplomatic situation with them. What if we speak to them and get out of Cold War status? Really? I'll give you money. Really? I'll give you a star system. I'll give you two. Wow. What a jerk. Well, that's disappointing. I guess we could try going for a slightly different system. Okay, well in that case, Lancer, go hunt him down. And colony ship to the Pardalis system. Maybe we need open borders. Go to Regulus for now. Actually, you know what, we can even send it through. No, that could be risky. We have our new light carrier. I'm excited to see the impact it can have on an invasion. Look at that, everybody, one turn. <laughs> but can I do bombs? Maybe I need bombers to do that. Either way, the fighters are helping with the invasion, at least. Let's try the diplomacy one more time here. All right. for here. If there's any form of open borders. Uh, I'm just going to worry about it later. Let's focus on what's going well, which is the war. And to a slightly lesser extent, our FID score. Trending up again, that's nice. Yeah, I know, how about an... an Oh, if I wait one more turn. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start construction on an invader, and then I'm going to upgrade it. That's all fine. 
Our approval rating is nice and high, so I'm going to turn up the taxes because that actually increases my production and definitely the money. Regulus doesn't know what to do with itself. That's a nice problem to have. How about defense? Then I would rather have research at this point. Things with amoeba are great, invasion technology is great, everything's great. Reveals antimatter, I think we're overdue for that one. Colonize Baron. I'll take it. Okay, now we have a very important ship upgrade to do here, everybody. The support didn't really do a whole lot for us. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, that's not exactly what I want. Oh well. Improvement to the fleet propulsion, I guess that's alright. They haven't ended up actually moving together at all, but uh, that's alright. So we can improve to a 1,000 siege score. I kind of want to see... That doesn't even affect our space available. Just makes it more expensive to build. That's alright with me though. going to take off basically absolutely everything we can. The invader is only going to do invasions now, because the more we stack up our siege modules, the better off we are. So invader 2 is now almost twice as good. Okay. I should probably build this on the home world. And then we'll leave it at that. Just because I do. I am kind of getting sick of having this invasion take forever. As I've mentioned about 50 million times. Because they are actively building up resistances to it as I invade. That's why it's barely moving forward at all.
I could really use more science points. And we've got a couple of researches queued up, so. I wonder why the He Show haven't gone for the Tikal system. Uh oh. Let's be real. So what sort of weapons did they use? No! Come back! <laughs> that could have been useful. Alright, we've got antimatter. Put them out of their misery. Thank you. I'll take another one of those. Plus 20% production on the star system. That is definitely worth building right away. And I can buy it. Probably not worth it. It's only going to save me a couple turns, but still. Empire under my control now. Also, I don't like the looks of this at all. I don't care that they're friendly with me. 3,090. Everybody else's high tech fleets that they built a little later are uh, upsetting me. Pilgrims are happy. Good. So they're trying to help me. I'm really not sure how I feel about that. I'd prefer if you minded your own business. Actually, a thought's just occurred to me. I've got to make my claim on some of these systems. Because other species could be researching at an appropriate rate now. Even these terrible, terrible planets. They're going to contribute a lot of research points. We're going to have Baron. Colonize Asteroid. Colonize Gas Giant. All right, Captain Production. And I can't believe I forgot this detail. Well, actually, I can very easily believe it, but... Um Get out of my territory. Can't believe they actually did some damage to me. That's humbling. Yes, I would love that. I have no idea where you live. But I like getting things. Okay, colonize Baron. Crystals. 
Just a whole bunch of luxury resources. Voidstone, nice to have. Mercurite. Whoops. I think I'm gonna go the research route here. Alright. One turn, everybody. It's taken eight billion years, but we're finally getting there. And I'm just going for the Aya's system. And this is only really going to bottleneck scouts, but I guess I'll go for it. Pardala's system we won't get a shot at until we get open borders with the amoeba. Yay! So, you know, they hate me and stuff, but aside from that, things are looking pretty good. 20% production bonus. How would you guys like to have a supermarket? And I'm willing to invest in it, even. Plus eight for arid, sounds good. All right, that'll keep them busy for a while. And I think I can get away with just flying everyone to help with the invasion now. So close. I believe it takes a couple uh, propulsion units to actually end up in orbit around a planet, so that's why we're seeing situations with it being one away from it. That's just my theory anyway. Maybe I made it up. Get Dave slowly climbing up. Still not on pace to win the game right now, though. Maybe we could kill the amoeba. At least our invasion's going a lot faster now. So nine turns will have swallowed their entire empire. That's a good thing. improvements in our colonization opportunities coming up soon as well. And I suppose I should take crappy old gross while I have the chance. Okay, there's colonized lava for us, so there's the last one. No exploitation. Baron is good for research if memory serves. And those should develop quite nicely. Oh. Yes, of course you don't like me, you show. A war with them would probably be impractical, because they're stronger than me. But, uh... 
feel like they're going to be a problem. Psychoactive air. I'd take that. the pilgrims wow okay um, can I also have some of your technology They don't want to give me such a good tech. It's all some pretty good stuff. can I get from them? They won't even do a one-for-one one trade there. I suppose they won't give me a star system. It appears they value them all quite equally as well. Well, we may just have to take a bad deal. All right, we have open borders. So now we can go for the colony ship. As fast as friggin' possible. And we actually have some pretty promising opportunities then. I think I might just try building a couple of them. The other good news is we didn't give them any technology, and a lot of our technology has to do with colonizing. So I think because we're such good friends with them, everything's going to be okay. Plus 40 experience on all ships. The Katana fleet. Cool. Glad we found that stray ship, everybody. Colonize lava, that's going to be good. Seven turns, completely acceptable, and that's going to just be an absolute jackpot of a system. So I'm very excited about that. This is my excited voice. I'm a little nervous just because I never. Uh, should I just book it for. I feel like I should make the extra jump and go for the Pardalis system. Timos. Oh, right. That one's actually pretty good, too. Good production system to have back there. No, this is a good system, too, though. 
I'm so excited. The fact that they haven't tried colonizing any of these so far suggests that I probably have a little bit of time, but I'm still so nervous. Oh no. 20 turns? Alright, uh... <laughs> okay. We apparently were running a system with neither checks nor balances for a while there, and something bad happened. Shockingly, something bad happened. Embracing for the political comments in the, uh... Oh yeah! It's happening! In the comment section. Okay. This is kind of a tough time to start a colony. Since everything good is slowing down right now. But we'll just go for it. No exploitation. Production. You're going to have a very hard time growing the population is the only problem. That'll keep them busy for a while. The nice thing about endless space is the way the terraforming works is eventually it's always worth having like every colony. You can do tw quite a bit of good stuff with each one of them. Captain Homeworld. I'm gonna go research, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still gonna go research. The plus four to, or plus fifteen to happiness is always nice. Part all this is the really good one. We stand to move quite a bit up in the world in the near future. All right, I think I'm gonna end this video here and the next one, hopefully, I mean, what I'm hoping for is Wrath, Pardalis, Timos, and maybe even Gruss all join the empire. Worst case scenario, we end up at war with Hisho and they break in through the south. And I completely forget to do any form of management with this system. That would also be quite an embarrassment. Alright, I'll see you all in the next video, everybody.